So pivoting a little bit, what are your thoughts on Ethereum competitors? Do you think they're the future, one of them is the future, or Ethereum will kind of keep its supremacy? So, I mean, it's hard to predict the future, just the nature of technology. Something can come along tomorrow that uh, wipes everything away, right, and, and, and supersedes Ethereum's capabilities. Uh, but what's emerging right now is that Ethereum has most of the market share in terms of the trading activity, the dollar value of the tokens that are traded on Ethereum. Most of that liquidity is on Ethereum. Um, and what you have is other competitive blockchains coming in, which the Ethereum world supports, um, and they're bringing in other types of innovation, maybe better scalability. Um, uh, but what they find is they do need to kind of hook and tie back into Ethereum to some degree. So mm -hmm. what it looks like is Ethereum might become more like the internet. Um, it's more of a base layer, and then you have other blockchains um, that are hook, hooking into it. Um, and I think eventually we'll see 10 years from now, uh, multiple blockchains that are interoperable with each other. They're all communicating and talking to each other. Um, much like a, comp uh, a network in a company, you have a private network in a company, and then you have another private network in another company, and but these networks can interoperate, uh, interoperate, they can communicate with each other. You can send an email from one company to another company, um, and I think the blockchain world is gonna move in that direction. Mm -hmm. um, so the competition is good. Um, it's gonna move if, um, the blockchain world forward. It's gonna move society forward, civilization forward. Will it replace Ethereum? It doesn't look like that today. Uh, what it does look like is that it actually is strengthening um, Ethereum's position in the market um, as Ethereum becomes an anchor point for other, other blockchains. So speaking of blockchain, how, how does blockchain technology and AI, how does that come together? That's a great question um, in many ways. Um, so there's lots of use cases between uh, of the convergence of the two. Um, one possible scenario is um, AI is, so right now AI is machine learning is used for analytics on the blockchain. So companies like Chainalysis and mm -hmm. uh, a couple other companies will use machine learning and other types of AI tools to look at the data in on the blockchain and potentially do predictions, identify patterns, and this is useful in fraud detection and things like that. Um, when I talk about AI, when I look at AI, I look at it from a deep learning perspective which is a sp special branch within AI. It is the, the branch that's used by, let's say, ChatGPT. Um, and there may be convergence there. Um, for example, a DAO could be um, run by an AI, so you're interacting with a DAO, and that DAO is a deep learning model. Mm -hmm. um, and that is uh, you know, a potential uh, convergence. And then I think there's other convergences that we haven't seen yet, I think they will come out soon. Uh, but um, looking at what's happening in the space right now, I don't see blockchain and deep learning converge yet. There are opportunities for it to converge. Um, I haven't seen a really strong use case yet. Um, I think it will emerge this year, next year, because of AI's prominence. Um, and I've been teaching um, AI and machine learning uh, for about six years at a graduate level. And we've been talking about AI for a long time, and nobody's paying attention. <laughs> Almost everybody's paying attention this year. Like, hey, all of a sudden, <laughs> everybody's like, "Hey, this." Is, and so people are looking for convergence. But one, you know, there's I, I'm an advisor on one comp at a company, and what they do is um, they allow you to produce AI models and then store a fingerprint of that model on chain, um, and it kind of gives you an idea that the model hasn't changed. Um, for example, right now when you use ChatGPT. You might be using ChatGPT 3.5 or 4.0. Those are major version numbers. But the minor version numbers change. So you might be using 4.1 and then 4.2, but you don't know. And underneath those models are being swapped out uh, because OpenAI is changing those models. Um, and um, the blockchain may be a place to say uh, and to confirm that this is the model that I'm using. Um, and a fingerprint of that model could be stored on blockchain. So some companies are looking at building that type of stuff. I can store, for example, a hash of a model mm -hmm. uh, on chain, and then I can verify that I am in fact using that model. Okay. 